Hey, Joe. Okay. Are you guys ready for your first comic of the night? Let's make them hear you, that you're ready. Let's hear it. Comedy funny, please welcome to the stage. Not even intro. Mr. O.T. Lee. Thank you very much. Always remember, tip your bartender, tip your waitress, tip whoever brings you a drink. But here's another tip. Always remember, guys, pussy and pizza, they're just alike. You know, even if they're bad, it's still fucking good. You know? You know, I mean, uh, white women, they always say, you know, if you go down on them, they say it might smell a little bit funny. You know, hey, so the fuck what? When you come back and give them a kiss, they say, oh, your breast stinks. And that kiss was tasting horrible. I said, well, that's just how your fucking pussy was. You know, and uh, other women, they say, uh, your dick's small. Well, the only thing I have to tell them is I have to, you have to scrap a two by four against the back of your ass so you don't fall in. And if you would have yelled, you would have heard, Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? That's exactly what would have came back. Hey, Floyd, comfortably numb? You know, uh, shit. But anyway, uh, black women, that's what I like now. Black women are wild. I mean, you know, they talk dirty and shit. You know, they say, eat that pussy white boy. I say, you fucking ain't right. You know, they don't give you no bullshit. And they don't say anything bad. You know, I mean, I've had a couple bad experiences before. You know, uh, this one gal, she asked me if I smoke crack, this black gal, and I said, that's what I'm doing now. I was between her legs. You know, and she says, no. She handed me down the crack pipe. I dropped that. But I got the lighter, and she says, you have to light the top half on fire and puff on the ass. Well, I lit her bush on fire, was puffing on her ass, but no smoke was coming out of my mouth, but I got my face fucking slapped real bad. Yeah. And uh, another time, uh, this gal, uh, I was in her house. You know, she called me up. I thought she was, you know, just wanting to see me and shit. And she got my dick out, and she said, you got something for me? And I said, well, you got it in your hand right now. She said, uh, I'm going to go get my gun. And I said, well, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. You know, all she was wanting was fucking money and shit. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just disturbing. I mean, this whole world is fucking disturbing now. But, um, you know what the difference between jelly and jam is? Does anybody know what the difference between jelly and jam is? I'm going to be like Ferris Bueller. Anybody? Anybody? You can't jelly a dick in a woman's mouth. But you sure to fucking jam one. <laughs> but anyway, there's another thing that's disturbing. I, there was there was a guy. He was married to another guy, and he was talking about eating fucking cream pie out of his fucking asshole. I was like, what the fuck? That shit still got me fucking discombobulated and disturbed. But I was like, what in the fuck is going on in this fucking world now? You know, I mean, two women together is fine. I don't, you know, it, it don't get from me ever. Two women's good. That's fine. They want to get a fucking cream pie out of another woman's vagina. That's great. But just, <laughs> that was fucked up, though. Talking about eating a cream pie, that brings a new meaning to Spunk Myers cream filled pies. Mm -hmm. You know, but anyway, I'm on to Lee. That's my time. It, I'm on. I'm on. OG Lee, everybody. He's a professor of women's studies at Wash U. Please welcome to the stage the very funny Andrew Gaffigan. Don't stop clapping now. Hello, I, uh, I was walking through Benton Park last week and I found a, a loose dog. 
and I, I took a picture of it and I uh, got on like the Boss Dog group on Facebook and I found a dog that looked similar. So I commented that and then the lady who had nothing to do with this post at all replied, uh, that dog's not even the same color. That dog's brown, this dog is oak. <laughs> Fuck you. So I call animal control. They